quit selling your products to people. You heard me, I said quit selling your products to people, okay? I see guys coming in, this is the watch that you should buy. It's a bright link, okay? It can go like so many meters underwater. It is a, a, a scratch resistance. You should buy it now at only uh, X price and we have a special deal and a special sale right now and you should buy it right now. Let me get your card details. Would you like to do a cash check or credit? Look, man. Was that even the watch the guy was thinking of? Is that the color the guy was even thinking of? The guy or gal? Do you know whether this watch that this person is looking to buy is the watch they're gonna wear when they go to a formal event or is it the watch they're gonna use when they're underwater looking at jellyfish? You don't know anything, man. People know so much more about their products the different equipment, the manufacturing of it, the, the resistance to water, fire, air, rust, then they, do, then, they, then they do about the customer in front of them. And that's the biggest mistake. You don't know anything about why this person would even buy a watch. Is it to tell the time? Is it to wear and look good when they're dealing with customers? as a professional salesperson or business owner? Is it that they need a watch to look good because they're going on a date tonight with a girl and they want to impress her? Is it a watch they're going to wear when they're going off-roading on motorcycles and they want something that's durable so if they fall it doesn't break and they can still tell the time so they can make it to their date that night at which point they're going to change to a different watch that you could have sold them if you found out what type of watch they were looking for in the first place, okay? You're not in the business of selling your products to customers. You're in the business of selling customers on your products. But in order to do that, you need to know about the customer far more than you know about your products. Why does a guy want that product? Why do they want that service? What's most important to that customer? What did they do before? What did they like about the last product? What didn't they like about it? Would they change it? Would they pay for the same thing? How did they pay for it? Card cash, down payment, monthly payment? Uh, wh what, is, what is the reason they came to see you today, right now, for that product? Did they break up with somebody and they're trying to win them back? Are they getting it as a gift because it's someone's birthday? Do they feel like they deserved it because they worked really hard? Is it something they're gonna use when they go out like on a family reunion or if they're going to go to a, 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 let's say, it's a motorbike you're selling. They're going to a particular motorbike festival and they wanna show off how much money they have, look cool, have the greatest bike, fit into the club, and potentially one business and network there. You think they're coming to buy a bike so they can look cool and ride a bike and own a bike and you wanna sell them the most expensive ones so you can make the most commission. When they're buying a house, are they increasing their family? Is the guy a bachelor now? He wants to downsize. Why? Is it an appearance thing? Is it an economy thing? COVID hit, guy can't afford his rent anymore, has to reduce his expenses. You know, does the person wanna change the look of their software, their app, their home? That's why they're shopping at your furniture store, buying new furniture. What is the reason they're in your store looking for furniture? Instead of you trying to sell them your most expensive furniture kit, you would find out that that's not even the thing that they're trying to solve and the reason they're in there. Is it, is it, is it that somebody hit your site or I called you today, came into your store, wants to do business with you because they want better performance on, let's say they Google AdWords, they social media, they salespeople, their car, it's not as fast as it is as they'd like it to be. He's currently driving a VW Polo. He wants a VW TSI because it has a turbo and he wants to move faster to his appointments or he just likes speed. You don't know, you're just selling them a Polo because hey, there's a guy in the store, let's sell him a car, let me get some commission. Hey, is it a safety and security thing? Guy was living in, a, in Alberton, God knows he was living in Soweto, who knows? 
He wants to move to Kailami. He wants to live in Santon. He wants a bigger house. He's got a family. He's got a better job. He's been recently promoted. He wants more safety and security as opposed to living in Tembisa where he was a bachelor and didn't care, didn't mind, or he was living in Soweto, is moving closer to his work, and he's getting a family. He's dating maybe a white girl, maybe a foreigner. You never know. I know. I was in that situation, dude. I wanted more safety and security for her more than for me. That's the reason why I decided to come into your store today. Hit your website, give you a call. You need to know all of this. That's why you sell people on your products. You need to know more about people than on your products. Because if you know more about your products and have no clue why the guy is sitting in your store right now talking to you about buying one of your services or your products, you will never sell that customer. You will never make that sale because you don't know anything that that guy is trying to solve. Therefore, you cannot provide him with the right product or service that will take care of that problem. And in order for you to do that, you need to first have a customer in front of you and you know who to call. If you're having a hard time getting customers in your store where you can sit in interviews and you can find out what is it they're trying to solve, why they would want to stay at your accommodation as, as opposed to your neighbor's accommodation, call Scene Comp Production. Look at the link below. We'll be more than delighted to help you get more bodies in your store, in your shop, in your business that you can be in interviews with, spending time finding out what problem they're trying to solve that day, that week, that month, that year, and then you can take care of them, but they need to be with you first we can help you with that. We'll help you with your social media marketing. We'll help you with your content creating. We'll do your photography and your videography. We'll help you get them in the door so you can see them and interview them and find their problems. And at the end of the day, close them on the solution that'll best take care of their needs. Hey, hit us up. Hit us on the link below. Look at our website, www.scenecomstore. I look forward to helping you get more business. Let's go.